hello guys welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use uh, the one to one relationship in the laravel so let's get started so first of all i want to tell you that uh, what is the one to one relationship in the data, uh, in the laravel so guys for that i want to open the data database first of all so just open the database so here you will see that we have a database with a username and here we have the two tables one the users and another one is the details all right the day the tables are related with the uh, each other so now you can see that uh, the id of the user table is present in the user id of the detail table so they both are related to each other all right so if i want to uh, some other details of the user then I can put the user ID from here to here inside a join alright so but uh, how we can get it uh, with the relations in the Laravel so now let's start with that alright so first of all uh, I'm going to tell you that what uh, steps we have to do uh, for that first step is make a DB connection all right then make route make a user model make a detail model uh, I'm talking uh, with the related of these stuffs all right detail model and make a function for relation call it in the controller all right so basically we have to fill the only simple six steps to for do that all right so first of all i am going to make the db connection the, actually the connections are already made i'm just going to show you now open your dot env file all right so just uh, you can put your three parameters here your database name this is my database name all right so you can check here all right so it's a user actually all right then the uh, db username this is a root and the password this is a red hat at the rate one two three in the my case in your case it may be different all right after that our first step is clear now i'm going to make some routes for that for that uh, i'm going to open my uh web.php which is the uh, uh, placed in the router folder all right so if i'm going to close everything then you can check it easily okay so inside the uh, your folder that there, there is a uh, folder routes and here you will find the web.php and here the, the default route is this so i'm going to one more one more route like relation and inside the relation i'm going to call the test controller which is i made or already made this is the test controller and inside the test controller i have the function index all right so i'm going to call this one with the slash all right so now you can see that the code will be here i just written here from this function all right nice now we, st we just do the two steps okay so from the very scratch i'm going to make uh, i'm going to delete the user controller so that we can make it uh, from the very scratch okay so just clear the window okay so now i'm going to make a new controller with the name of model so for that i'm going to write php artisan make model and model path model folder and inside the model folder my model name is user all right so you will see that we got the user model here okay so third steps is also clear so now uh i'm going to make one more controller with the detail right, 
just hit the enter and you will see that we got one more model here okay so this is also done so uh, just uh, we will uh, clear this function also just remove these files we don't need this file also okay so relations also made up so I'm going to open this file and importing the my model here so for that I'm going to write app inside the app the model folder and my model name is user alright so just I'm going to return for now uh, user find one alright that means is a condition like uh, select star from the user where ID equal to one alright so let's check in the database uh, with the user table we have the Anil Siddhu with the email name of Dylan alright so just refresh it then you will see that we got this result so now how we can uh, make a relations and get the data of this table also for that what I have to do I need to make a one more function here so inside the model just uh, write like this public function detail or whatever you want to put the name it's totally up to you and it will return dollar this and has one it will define the one to one relationship all right and here I, I'm just going to write the uh, path of the folder path of the detail controller and just write the app model and detail all right so here I'm going to just keep it simple and put the detail here all right so now let's see what's going on now you will see that we got the data from this table all right so uh, just uh, I'm going to take it inside the variable data and return something like this dollar data detail all right Can just remove from here and the result is the same and with the help of this I can also if uh, I just want to print something else I can just uh, ask to use dollar data so with the one single object we we are able to get the data of both table all right so for the simple uh, we can use two array okay so we got the data from the both table it's a pretty simple and guys sometime you are thinking about that maybe but how they are related to each other other that how they understand that uh, from this ID uh, we have to go to the user ID only so for that database actually understand that if the two table name is users then we must have to find the uh, in the second table user dot underscore ID okay so if you are thinking that my if the uh, column name is the another then how we can uh, get it so for that let's say I'm going to change it with the user tb underscore id let's say I just use this one for that to save it and in the second parameter put your the name okay and you will see that we got the result from here as we want all right there is no issue with that so fine so now uh, for test we can just check with that and it will give me an error 
there is an unknown column in the user ID but providing with this it will understand that we got the uh, user ID with the another column name alright so this is a very simple tutorial about the one-to-one -one relationship in the Laravel 5.7 so if you still have any, any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel please like this video and if you have any kind of suggestion you can ask me in the comment box also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video